Hello and welcome to another Hades tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to create a planet, just like this one here I see in the middle of the image. Um, you won't need much uh, requirements, all you'll need is some basic Photoshop skills and a planet texture. I'll, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll supply some planet textures in the description. So let's get to work. So first of all we make our new document and we go about 1200 by 1000 right now and we make it black and then we'll open up our planet texture I, I leave a link for a couple of these in the description and you can find loads on google images and all that but when you have your texture we get, we get our elliptical tool and we press and hold shift click and drag to select an area of the texture you want to be in your planet Okay there. And when you're happy enough with your selection, you press Ctrl and then press C. Press and hold Ctrl or press C to copy it. Or you can go edit, copy, and you can close this off now. And then you can press Ctrl V to paste it in. Or edit paste. Now you're gonna do oh wait there. We are going to press Ctrl and hold it. And we're gonna click on our little uh, planet over here on the layers uh, tab and it'll select it, it'll make a marquee around it and what we will do with this we will go filter um, distort and then spherize just give it a kind of like a spherish type of look and we set the amount of 100 and press ok and see it gives it a kind of 3d kind of vibe and then you press ctrl d to deselect or you can go select and deselect and we're going to duplicate this layer a couple of times to duplicate it, I press Ctrl and J, or you can press Image, and where is it? Duplicate. Right, so we'll unhide, we'll hide all the top ones, and so we just have two. And we will bring the fill layer of this right down to zero, and we will right-click the layer, and we we'll go Blending Options. And first one we're going to work on will be Inner Glow. It's going to give an inner atmosphere, and we pick a kind of a color that be that would be relative to your to your texture because uh, you're not going to have a blue atmosphere on a planet like that um, we'll pick, click OK and uh, increase the size a bit about there looks alright and then we go outer glow oh shit that's drop shadow outer glow um, we pick a, a bright colour that's in this that there, and we'll increase the size of it. Up there, and we'll decrease the opacity. So about there, that looks okay there. Now we will go to our next layer, and we will unhide it. And what we will do with this, we will press Control and click on it. The little icon here for the layer. Or the, the planet and we will make black we press control backspace but if it turns white then just press control i to make it black or you can get your, your book to make it black and then we we'll deselect it then we go filter blur and then gaussian blur and see it kind of give a, a, a kind of a shadow but Depending on the size of your texture and the size of your document will depend on how much your your radius will be. I, I chose 65 for this one, and then we click we just click Show Transform Controls. And depending on where your stars are, where your light source is going to be, is for where you could click and like might want the sun to be down here, like, and uh, you could bring it up that way, or if you want it to be over the other side, you can bring the shadow down this way by pressing Shift and click on the corner, press shift and hold it down and then drag. And where will I go with this? I think I will go. Yeah, it looks alright that way. And we have one more trick. Uh, well actually you can go to this one here actually. And the bottom texture layer. I'll just remember that texture. And you can duplicate it. And um, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to go filter, stylize, and embos. 
and see it kind of gives a kind of a bumpy kind of feel though and um, we just go height by 250 and or height one and the uh, amount to 250 and press ok and what we do is we set this to uh, multiply and then you can lower the opacity over. now you mightn't see much of a change on the video but when you're doing it at home you'll notice it kind of, kind of gives it a bumpy kind of feel on like a kind of terrain effect on the planet but um, that's it um, well you can go in and add all your stars and all that there this is just a uh, tutorial how to make a planet well that's how to make the planet and um, really cool outcomes if you, like, if you keep at it so this is the outcome you've reached the end of the tutorial um, hope you enjoyed it um, this is just a lens flare added with uh, stars and planet or a moon sorry um, I have another uh, come with the same style here it is here um, it's a really cool style and uh, push out comes in the link below by all means and uh, bye bye